bring them in. So, this is my latest sacrifice, hmm? Can't say I'm impressed. Even among the many other humans I've been given, this one seems... particularly pathetic. Although, there is something peculiar about this one. Their appearance isn't anything special, but the aura they give off. Hmm. Leave us. Well, nothing you wish to say, human? I'm sure you're more than aware of your situation. You're the latest sacrifice for your people, all in a vain attempt to appease me. Though... I am curious what they were thinking when they chose you. You're clearly not the strongest, I doubt you're the smartest, and... It's obvious you're not the most appealing of the lot. So why you? <laughs> oh wait... I think I understand. It's because you don't stand out in any way that you were chosen. To them, you're just mediocre. Another unimportant mouth to feed. That's not true. <laughs> ah, yes. Typical human denial. But I must say, I enjoy the fire in your eye, even if it won't last long. But very well. I'll play along. Then tell me, human, do you believe you've been chosen as some kind of honour? As some kind of generous sacrifice that would let you be hailed as a hero? Sorry, but that's not how it works. As far as your people are concerned, anyone sat down here is sentenced for death. They'll never be seen or heard from again. And I will admit, that is rather accurate. All the sacrifices I have been given, I have put to use in some way. Some were able to entertain me for a time. Others I simply fed to my pets. But in the end, all of them have met the same fate. However, I highly doubt you'll meet either of those standards. Frankly, it feels meaningless to even kill you. Oh, you want to go home? <laughs> really? Home to what? To those friends who just so happen to remember you when it's important to them? To those siblings who rarely speak to you? Or maybe to those parents of yours who have done the bare minimum in raising you? Don't look so shocked. Understanding your past is as simple as reading a book. There isn't a single thing about you that shows you've ever had someone's love or favour. Not really, at least. Ah, now I understand what felt so off about you before. Unlike all the other humans I've met, your will to survive, your reason for living, you don't have one. Every other human that was brought here before me always had one of two reactions. Either utter despair or pure desperation. Both reactions show how badly those humans wanted to live. But you? You've hardly reacted to anything since you got here. No tears, no begging. You didn't even snap in anger when I openly mocked you in your life. It's like I'm talking to a doll. A doll that's been told they want to live, but... They don't know why. Now... The question is... What should I do with such a broken doll? Making you into a servant hardly sounds appealing, and... 
For whatever reason, I have no desire to see you dead just yet. Hmm. Actually, I think I know exactly what I'll do with you. <laughs> yes. That should work out nicely. Consider yourself lucky, human. As of today, you will be my pet. Come now, don't look so surprised. It's rare for a human to pique my interest this much. And I did say I have no desire to kill you just yet. So until I say otherwise, or simply lose interest, you're mine. You should be honoured. No other human has ever received such treatment from me. And since I'm in such a giving mood, you have my word that you won't be treated as any sort of animal or slave. <laughs> what a wonderful confused expression you have. I'll keep my explanation simple since I'm sure you're still comprehending everything. When I claim something as mine, I can't stand to see it dirtied or mishandled in any way. And now that you're mine, it goes without saying that besides me, no one will be laying a hand on you. And as my pet, keeping you in those filthy rags is out of the question. Last thing I want is for people to look down on something that is mine. In other words, you'll be given proper clothing that you'll wear according to my wishes without complaint. I trust you won't try to argue about this. <laughs> Once again, you never cease to surprise me. It's rare to see such an obedient human like you. That, or you're even more broken than I thought. Regardless, I'm looking forward to seeing how long you can last here. While I may treat you with some decency, I can't guarantee everyone will treat you the same. After all, to all the other demons I rule, you'll just be another human they can eat or tear to shreds. Do you think you can handle such a constant threat? <laughs> Well, it seems there's still some fire left in you after all. But I suppose you are correct in some way. There's no way I'd ever let someone touch what is mine. So I suppose you have less to worry about in that sense. There truly is more to you than meets the eye, isn't there? One minute you're as docile as a mouse. The next you're as brave as the most brazen of humans. Now I'm really looking forward to seeing what else there is to learn about you. Though I suppose I'll have to wait until then. I suppose all that's left is to show you to your new room. And of course it will be right next to mine in case you're wondering. Oh, don't worry about the chains. I'll remove them soon enough. At least, once I find a colour that'll fit you nicely. 